It tends to fly under the radar quite a bit, but the number one selling model in Subaru's lineup is the Forester. It's mid-size SUV. We see a lot of attention, a lot of advertising put on, you know, the Outback or the uh, Crosstech, but it's really the Forester that gets uh, the most sales in the whole lineup. Now for 2022, this fifth generation Forester has had a bit of a mid-cycle refresh and also the addition of an all new trim level. And we're gonna take a look at that as the 2022 Subaru Forester is the feature of my latest review. Most mid-cycle refreshes are generally more subtle than substantive in nature, and this mid-cycle refresh of the Subaru Forester is no different. On the exterior, the most notable feature would be a redesigned front fascia, grille, headlights, and fog light covers, but the exact nature of changes vary depending upon the trim level. My tester is a top-level premier trim, which is known as the touring trim in the US, and the comparative differences before the refresh and after are noticeable but generally more subtle. The 2022 Forester also offers a new ladder type roof rail system. The improved rail system offers a higher dynamic load capacity of 220 pounds compared to the previous 176 pounds and an 800 pound static load limit which had been 700 pounds previously. The added load now allows for the safe use of a rooftop tent accessory that is available. Helpful tie-down locations have also been integrated into the roof rails. The 2022 Forester also comes standard with the latest version of EyeSight Driver Assist technology. The enhanced system improves overall performance and operates under a broader range of conditions thanks to a wider field of view and improved control software. Starting at the premium with option package and all higher trim levels upwards, EyeSight includes new automatic emergency steering. The new feature works in conjunction with the pre-collision braking system to assist with steering control to help avoid a collision at speeds less than 80 kilometers an hour or 50 miles per hour. The interior of the Forester remains essentially unchanged, but that's not necessarily a bad thing as it provides good levels of interior space, comfort and convenience for a vehicle of its size and it matches up well against its category competition. There's nothing overly flashy about the Forester, but the popularity of the model has never been about flash or sizzle. Instead, all Subarus are known for their driving capability and their suitability for all types of driving conditions and terrain. To that end, perhaps the most notable addition to the 2022 Subaru Forester is the addition of a wilderness trim level to the lineup. That brings the total trim level options up to six in the US and seven in Canada. Similar to the Outback Wilderness, the Forester version uniquely adds a slew of exclusive mechanical, design, and functional enhancements for added capability on the roads and trails less traveled. Exclusive chassis suspension components give the 2022 Forester Wilderness 9.2 inches of ground clearance. That's a half inch increase over other Forester models, which already had among the highest ground clearance in their segment. Longer coil springs and shock absorbers provide the added road clearance, while special tuning helps maintain the Forester's well-balanced ride and handling performance with the increased height. The Forester Wilderness adds exclusive styling with the all-new front fascia with bold hexagonal front grille, larger wheel arch cladding, a front skid plate, unique hexagonal LED fog lights, and an anti-glare hood decal in matte black finish. The Wilderness trim is going to appeal to a segment of Subaru buyers who perhaps want a little bit more off-road capability than what's already there. It won't be the top selling trim, but there is a constituency out there that will embrace this new trim and Subaru is only too happy to provide it to them. As a brand, Subaru really has never been known for flash or style. It's always been about substance. It's been about safety. It's been about capability. It's been about symmetrical full-time all-wheel drive and about boxer engines and about eyesight technology. All these things aren't really exciting, but they're meaningful. 
And for fans of Subaru, they're very important. It's probably one of the reasons why they're so attached to the brand. Brand loyalty of Subaru is incredibly high. And with the refresh here of the 2022 Forester, there's really nothing that's gonna steer them away. And I also don't think there'll be anything that will bring new people to the fold. That is, unless you're looking at the new Wilderness trim, because that takes an already capable uh, mid-size SUV and makes it even more so. So perhaps that's uh, an element of opportunity for Subaru with this refresh. But otherwise, you're getting more of the same, just a little bit differently dressed up. That's it for this review. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. And if you are, make sure that you are uh, receiving notifications every time I upload something new. That's all for now. I'm Eric Novak. Thanks for watching.